We're in the kids' room right now, and this is where they captured the video of a ball moving. So we have a couple balls here. Put that there. Okay, if there's any little kids here, we brought toys for you. I would love to see how far you can kick each ball. This camera is all set, so we have two angles on it in case anything moves. Setting, everything is set, walking away from the table. Okay, I'm Katrina. This is Jack. Howdy. You don't have to be scared of us. We're friends of Patrick and Linda and Marge. And we came because they told us that you really want to talk. So we want to talk to you. Are you afraid of anything? Or anyone? Hmm. She's got a headache. Are you giving Jack a headache? Kind of achy pain just in the side of my head. Did you get hit in the side of the head when you were alive? Let's play back. Let's see if yeah. we got anything. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. I think we had some pretty interesting EVPs. It sounded like a voice came through that said, yeah. It's like starting to wake up is what it feels like to me. So now we're gonna go down into the basement. Cindy believes that there was a ritual done that opened up this doorway in the basement. And so we're gonna test that theory tonight. Oh, five down here. Yeah, do you feel something? Uh-huh. What do you feel? I just got like a stomach. Like a like sinking? A, yeah, like yeah. a totally sinking feeling. Yeah. But it's spooky down here. Okay. Recording. All right, this recorder is set. Is uh, anyone or anything in the basement with us right now? You can maybe touch that red light, the one with the metal antenna sticking out of it. Maybe try and make it change colors, like that. We have a light panel that if you get near, the lights will light up. Who opened the doorway here? Who's the one that scratches people? Or pushes people? Did you hear that? Yeah, I'm yeah. hearing that. I thought that was you on the stand, like tapping your feet or something. You, it, it almost sounded like a ball to me, like a bouncy ball. Or yes. It's exactly what it sounds like. Someone like bouncing a ball going like dun 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 dun. Yeah. Heard it again. Where are you guys hearing it from? I feel like it's above me. So now the mel meter's gone off in the hallway, so we're gonna go check that out now. Whew. This place is active. Something up here with us? Green for yes, red for no. Can we play that game? Do you understand? Do you not want to play with us? Hmm. Interesting. We were getting some interesting Melmeter action. Um, it's kind of what draw us back up here when we came up from the basement and then it just stopped. So Linda is at the front door. Oh, great. Hi! Hi. Come on in. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Hi. Jack and I have suspected that maybe Linda and Marge are part of the reason why there's so many experiences. After Cindy's reading, she really felt that it was Linda. So we asked her to come back in to see if her being here would change anything on our investigation. Would you be open to the idea of sitting alone with headphones and a blindfold on while we investigate? The headphones don't bother me, the blindfold is what bothers me. 
I don't like not being able to see. I can't guarantee I'm gonna last. Okay. Yeah. But I will try it. <laughs> I'll give these to you. These are your headphones. Okay. My hands are shaking, Katrina. Oh, you do you want me to do it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're having to wear headphones to minimize interaction with the activity here. Are they on there? I can hear the thing. We just really want to see if her presence is enough of a trigger to stir things up. Ugh, I mean, it, I hate to be rude about it, but we're going to use her as a, a living, breathing trigger object. Are they good? OK. All righty. OK. It is dark as <laughs> in that hallway. There's no windows. We're going to set up some equipment in the hallway. Katrina's going to be at one end. I'm going to be at the other. We're gonna do a EVP session and just kind of see what we get. Okay. We wanna to talk to whoever is here. Hmm. Sweet. What, you hearing something? I thought I heard a bus <gasps> Scott, did you go in that room to turn the motion light on? No. Oof. Okay. What would have set that off? I don't know. I saw the flash, but no. I thought it was the floor panels. You know what? I'm gonna get Geoport. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's see who'll talk to us. Hello? Who are we talking to? I'm lost. Who's lost? Spirits. Was your funeral here? I heard funeral. Holy <laughs> Can you help us? Can you turn on some of our other equipment? There's a device sitting in front of Linda. Can you make that go off? Oh, What's going on? You're right, the energy has totally changed since she came in here. Yeah, it's different. It's like uneasy. It's like that feeling that you get when you walk into a haunted house. Yeah. We've had some intelligent voices coming through on our ghost boxes. And to me, it all kind of seems disjointed and a little erratic. I mean, we had stuff happen earlier. It was just like a calmer, more comfortable feeling. Yeah. I mean, well, I wasn't that comfortable. But if we're thinking about what they've said to us, right? And even if, you know, taking Cindy's reading into consideration, how many spirits do you think, like intelligent human so, spirits are here? Oh, several. I couldn't give you a number. It changes by the day, I would think, because there's a portal. And if there really are a high amount of intelligent entities here, then it would kind of make sense that everything's a little erratic because they would all be trying to communicate somehow.